Hola, it's Avi. And it's Lido. And we're not really quite sure what to call this type of video, but we're just going to have a chit chat about Christian dating. Christian dating. <laughs> Christian dating. So, of course, we're Christians and we dated before marriage. <laughs> That's just. <laughs> what? <laughs> Of course we dated exactly. before marriage. I mean, yeah. there's some people who who have arranged marriages. Yeah, okay. They have to like, their, their parents like set them up. Your mama tried to set you up. Facts. Many a time. <laughs> he used to go on dates set up by his mama. Stop. Did you not? Yeah, I did. But <laughs> How did those dates go? Don't put my mama on blast like that. <laughs> I'm not putting her on blast. I, I asked her to, you know. Oh. Yeah. And what happened? It didn't work. Exactly, because <laughs> we're waiting on me. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes are waiting on to see her mm -hmm. on the online app. But the Bible says that, what does the Bible say about finding a wife? He that findeth the wife findeth a good thing. Not his mama who findeth the wife. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look. So I didn't, I, didn't, I never really went out. So like, you know, I, I was go to work, go who. It wasn't girls at, at the gym that I wanted to talk to that much. And I was trying to live right. So, I was uh, at the gym, but not your season, gym. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, that's how that went. I mean, she found, she found some good candidates, but none of them was like her. You know, top of the line, the, the Peloton, the candidates. Peloton. You know Beachbody got a bike out now though too. Yeah. It came out today. Today Tuesday? No, today's not Tuesday. It comes out tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so and that's top of the line. I don't want to be Peloton. They got a lot of against them. Ah, uh, Beachbody bike, I guess. <laughs> Mix bike. It's called the mixed bike. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But back to dating. Back to Christian dating. So we date. We started. We stayed it for what six months before we got engaged. Yes. We dated for six months before we got engaged. And I know that's kind of fast, but yeah, no. When you know, you know. Exactly. I had been looking for a wife for four years, four and a half years. Uh, he was tired. I was tired, but you know, <laughs> our our uh, our souls praying. messed. Yeah. Instantly. I had been praying for a husband for six months. <laughs> Gotta work quick. <laughs> A mother half. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But uh yeah. You know, I just so happened to be on the app that I found her on. Just to, you know, glance around a little bit and I was like, Oh, maybe somebody's on here that I can, you know, that's pleasing to the eye. And And let me tell y'all, going into that app, I was not thinking that thing. I wasn't thinking about that. I was on the app only only on the app for three days. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? Three days. That's how you know it ain't nothing but God. But uh, <laughs> right. because you know the people that I used to, I, I talked to maybe, I probably went on a, a date with two two of the girls from there. Really? On that? Yeah. You're my first and only. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I pushed the envelope a little bit in online dating. Um, you know, not really scared, whatever. And I didn't, I didn't get catfished at all. That's good. But yeah, found yeah. her. I wasn't uh, a catfish? No. <laughs> Dude, this is the real thing. <laughs> this is the real thing right here. Yeah. yeah got so. on FaceTime and, and you knew. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. I probably I, I knew a month after like a month after we started dating, uh, I was like, man, this is insane, you know, like the way we just like intermingled together. And you yeah. weren't scared of my many questions. That's how I knew it was right. No, I loved it, you know. Uh, a lot, this day and age, this generation, they don't like to talk that much from what I see. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I'm a, I'm a talker, you know, and I don't like one word text messages. Okay. Uh, you know, we kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just like, you know, we, like, we had actual conversations mm -hmm. through text. Actually, like, we, ne we never missed a day of talking, never. like, since we started. Never. 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 Never missed a day. Yeah. And um, tell them how you got my number. Well, she actually hit me up on Facebook, cause I, I so here's a here's a, a long story short. I saw her Instagram on the app. Uh, that was where I went wrong. <laughs> I saw her Instagram on the app. 
So, you know, I didn't ask her for nothing, ask her for it or nothing. Uh, Wait, I hold just, on, pause. I had screenshot, I didn't have like pictures in my phone, so I screenshotted pictures from my Instagram, but I had my Instagram name at the top of the screenshot and I forgot to crop it out. And so I had all these dudes following me on Instagram. <laughs> oh, for real? Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> So it was it was kind of interesting that you know I seen that all I did was compliment her on that specific specific I can't even say specific. specific. Why is that the hardest word to say? It's not specific. You gotta say it slow. Say it fast. Specific. <laughs> Pacific, like the ocean. Pacific. No, it's not. No, it's not like the ocean. But it's specific. you know, I just compliment her on that app. She said thank you. And then I found her IG creeper. I know, but I uh, then I just you know liked their pictures. And then you creeped on my pictures. Creeped on her pictures. Then I seen a little boy in the pictures, and I was like, oh no, she got a kid. And then you know I, I just was like, oh I'm not gonna talk. I'm not gonna talk to her because I was. I did I was, not have a kid. I was locked in on not like dating a girl with a kid. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not going into a relationship. With a with a woman with a kid. with a baby daddy yeah exactly so uh she ended up finding me on Facebook because I didn't know her last name and she was creeping on me little little did I know and yeah she's like hey and sent the wave emoji and I didn't say hey it was just a wave emoji whatever <laughs> <laughs> no but it was it was good you know never stopped talking since then I I called her that night I believe it was a I don't remember. I, I think I called her that night. I can't remember either. But uh, yeah, we were talking back and forth. We were talking about um, sports. We were talking about fitness. Yeah. And then, and then I don't know. Somebody asked. I think you asked for my number. I yeah. don't remember, but no, yeah. I asked for a number. Mhm. Mm Cause mm -hmm. I, I think I, I think we talked that. We still night. got the messages on Facebook. They're still there. Man, that's a long time ago. <laughs> right? Five years later. Five Anyways. years. It's, not, it's more than five years later. It's like oh. six and a half years later. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess we have been, man. We've you been old. married for five years. You old. I don't what? age. <laughs> okay, it says the one with gray hairs and their beard. I'm the youngest looking gray haired uh, person that you'll ever see. People, speaking of age, people think we're younger than we look like on like on social media i get so many like when i when i talk about my age i get so many comments like oh i thought you were 22. well thank you for shaving 10 years off of my age y'all <laughs> yeah, we are in our 30s yeah, that's I know. crazy yeah, i know that's yeah. crazy it feels like we started like we found each other late yeah like, we did oh super late but it was on time Oh man! It was on God's timing. Yeah. Because real. if we would have found each other any sooner, if you would have found me six months prior, <laughs> who I would have been a hot mess. And I would have been a hot mess right with her, and it's like ah. You, you know. said that again. Ah. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, that's that's so true because. Yeah. Like my mindset wasn't where it needed to be, mm -hmm. uh, and hers definitely wasn't. And you know, oh, and yeah. I, I found it as we were going, like we we were uh, celibate, you know, practicing practicing abstinence uh, until we got married, and uh, I found it with that, each other. Like as far as like we weren't virgins when we got, when we met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like caveat. But, <laughs> but I found it easier that she was on this journey of salvation with me, mm -hmm. uh, and she had the. The mental capacity and the discipline to say no you know uh if i did try to you know slip a little smooch in there you know we with kissed. my with my with my with my deep voice and your bedroom in my eyes. bedroom eyes <laughs> i tell her i got them bedroom eyes all the time oh my goodness okay <laughs> next <laughs> And so no, we did we did kiss and stuff, but yeah. you had to tone it down. We had to tone we it down quite a bit. Definitely had to have boundaries. Oh man, <laughs> we boundaries. Had to have boundaries. Now, and I think that's the hardest part about Christian dating: boundaries. Oh man, setting those boundaries. 
not the, the hard part isn't setting the boundaries the hard part is the temptation and making sure that you adhere to the boundaries yes totally you know how you know how when um like you have border control like you have like uh what do you call it from the border of mexico and texas or wherever they we connect to the mexico where do we connect it <laughs> don't know <laughs> We're not editing out of any of this, um, but I obviously don't know, like, my whatever. Anywho, Geography. you have, like, border control because, you know, uh, or when you get a passport, like, that's the type of boundary that, you know, we have as, like, citizens of any country. You know, you need a passport to get to certain places. The passport we needed was marriage. God yeah. is the passport that a lot of people are missing yeah. in this time and age in regards to, you know, having this relationship with God and making sure that when you go into a relationship, it's a godly relationship. For and sure. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so excited that we had our passports. I didn't have a real passport. Like we, I didn't have a, a first passport until we got yeah. married and went on our honeymoon, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the passport of God and salvation in our marriage so that we could, you know, have that boundary and knowing that we can't, cross over that boundary until we get the signature that okay from god on our wedding day man what a Ooh, that that's was a word. the greatest signature i've ever seen that's a word right there oh man preach <laughs> preacher <laughs> that's a word make sure you make sure your relationship has a passport before you before you pass that boundary for real before you get on that flight that you can you know and it was extra hard when you know, we got engaged and oh man, we so anxious to to get married. Mm -hmm. And we had we had eight months to to plan a wedding and like wait and oh my goodness, what what? I, I cannot imagine planning that wedding. Wait, I I didn't plan it on my own. I was I was six months away from graduating. Yeah. And so I didn't want to get married until after graduate, just because of that whole. I wanted to get my degree. Yeah. You know, my, um, my graduate degree. For sure. Which I'm not using. <laughs> hashtag stay at home mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no hashtag content creator. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Oh, man. <laughs> but, but yeah. you know, everything happens for a reason. And we did long distance, date, long distance dating, which helped out a lot too. A lot. Uh, just because we weren't in each other's presence all the time. You just had to work on communication and mm -hmm. uh, I believe that helped us in our marriage now mm -hmm. because we we communicate really well and uh, you know uh, pick each other's brains yeah. and you know motivate each other different things of that nature but that it has our relation the, the way our relationship went from the start to now is is why we have a we're a cohesive unit oh, yeah. um, so oh, yeah. you know only only God could predestined and line it up uh the way it is this is like a nice faded taper that that line that's so crisp <laughs> faded in the back you know i'm about to get a haircut so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. dreaming about it definitely yeah. definitely god had it all in line and even with the long distance dating he allowed us to like that boundary that boundary was needed yes <laughs> that boundary but remember when i um uh, surprised you oh yeah on valentine's day yeah that was tough <laughs> that was something he right thought there. he thought we weren't going to be able to see each other for valentine's day because it was a storm it was a winter storm yeah um so it was a snowstorm and like the roads were just like just don't just don't get on the road <laughs> at all because we were three hours away from each other and get on a plane was really not an option because it just was too expensive yeah. even though it was only like a 20 minute flight <laughs> um just like unnecessary like to get on a plane for yeah, a 20 minute flight to Facts. and spend all that money for you know a day Facts. yeah and also sad yeah he was really sad and i think even with the plane even with the plane flight from uh detroit to south bend I think they only did it on Tuesdays or something weird like that. Like oh. they had like, because he, we live by a small airplane, a uh, small air airport, airport. <laughs> <laughs> we live by a small airport. And so I got on a train and I came to visit him. Yeah. And it was amazing. It was beautiful. Yeah. His Wait. cousin picked me up. 
Yeah, and then she was just sitting downstairs when I came out. I was playing video games, just chilling. <laughs> you sound like I, a little kid. <laughs> How old were you? Uh, 26. 26. <laughs> 27. <laughs> No, 20, we got married when we were 27. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 27. But, uh, yeah. It just came out. I was like... Because it, it was our first Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I, I think I bought you a bracelet or something that you don't wear. You did buy me a bracelet that I don't wear. <laughs> I have it. I've worn it. I wore it on Twitter. I don't want to lose it. This girl. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's a very nice bracelet. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And but he has to go, so it, he keeps looking at the time. I know. <laughs> but he's not wrapping it up, so I'll wrap it up. He has to go. Uh but it was nice chatting with y'all. Yeah. And we'll see y'all in another episode. If you like this type of uh Y'all gonna like this because we about to do more of it. Yeah, we are. <laughs> uh if you like this type of chat, just comment down below. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, maybe we'll come out with a podcast. We've been talking about it. Yeah, I want I want to really bad. Okay, so I like talking. if you like this and it's on the podcast, we got if we vibes. launch this on the podcast, then go ahead and leave a review. We don't know what this is going to be called yet. So, yeah, yeah. we're excited about what God is doing in definitely, our life. And definitely. We want to share the testimony of his goodness. For sure. So, with that said, be easy. We hope y'all saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Spirit. And if you're not, Go read in Romans 10 and 9. Amen. <laughs> in Jesus' name. Amen. Adios. Adios.